Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathix, and today I want to talk about confidence. And um, there are so many different aspects to talk about when it comes to confidence. But uh, today I, I wanted to um, use Grimlock from Transformers as the example. Because, especially, so for all you Transformer aficionados out there, I'm more of a Generation 1 kind of guy, so um, don't ask me about like Beast Wars or any of the new stuff. I might have caught like one or two episodes. But back when I was a kid, you had Grimlock, um, Generation 1, you know, and for those of you that don't know, he's the T-Rex looking uh, Autobot. And he, he talks like this, me Grimlock, me King. Um, and um, he he's a really fun character but something that's really interesting about him and is he's got this overwhelming amount of confidence and it's kind of funny because he is um he's very unrefined and he um he's not that bright either but he's just you know, by and large, just this huge ball of confidence. And so I was thinking, like, you know, there's something that we can learn from from Grimlock, and um, and a lot of guys today, <laughs> especially younger guys, but even dudes my age are, they're so unsure of themselves, and they compare themselves to everybody else, and and because they don't have the reference points in their own lives, or at least they're not using the reference points in their own lives, they're constantly, um, you know, kind of losing, losing their um, self-assurance, right? They're, they're kind of um, beta in a sense, right? Grimlock, that's one thing. Grimlock is like probably the most alpha of Autobots there is. Now, here's the thing though. Compare Grimlock to Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime is like the uh, the the standard to which all other Autobots are are, you know, gauged upon. He's he's bold, he's brave, he's manly, he is um, he's wise and articulate. He's a good leader. Now take Grimlock. Like I said, Grimlock's not that smart. He's not very articulate. And a lot of times he gets himself and his other Dinobots in a lot of trouble. But yet, there's something so uh, adorable about that character. But the thing is, is that Grimlock, he doesn't compare himself to, um, to Optimus. And he actually has i would say more confidence than optimus prime and i'm not i'm not uh, optimus prime is a very confident bold leader but he is um he, he optimus prime too is a little bit more aware of like his weaknesses whereas um grimlock has like all these blind spots like things he doesn't even see the point is where where am i going with all this sometimes we in order to build our confidence, we need to take that Grimlock attitude and forget about everybody else because it's not about you know what they bring to the table. If Grimlock was tried to be like Optimus Prime, then he would be a lame character and and he would not be Grimlock. Like the thing that makes him so fun and so cool is that he is in all full of himself and he wants to take charge and you know I'm not saying that you should be a buffoon or inarticulate what I'm saying is be confident in who you are find your voice find find yourself and just be happy with that don't compare yourself with other dudes right they have their own weaknesses and they have their strengths you have your own weaknesses and you have your own strengths focus on those strengths 
build reference points on those and where you have weaknesses go out and try to gain experiences so that you no longer feel weak in that area um and that's where challenging yourself constantly um will help you develop over the years when uh I, I, so i consider myself a writer at times i mean i i write a blog and there's I, i've written several papers for several different uh venues but um when i first started i didn't con i didn't consider myself a writer because I didn't feel like I had enough experience and I was terrible and I still am to this day at spelling compared to most other people um, but through constant reiteration and getting myself out there and putting myself outside of my comfort zone and having other people look at my work and getting criticized both positively and negatively it built reference points where I could finally for one not take myself so seriously and realize it's not the end of the world when you do make a mistake but two build up so much mom momentum that I can identify my weaknesses build sorry not momentum build up so many reference points that I know where those weaknesses are and I know now that I should you know look for there there or there two or two, et cetera, et cetera. Like there are certain things that I know that I have those weaknesses in. Also, uh, I've learned to use an editor and have other people check over my work. And I've learned how to take criticism better. And so over the time of cultivating those skills, I no longer feel uh, as I did before that one, I, I know I'm a writer. I'm not questioning that anymore. I am one. And I'm very confident in my writing abilities and, and, and um, you know, my own style, that it's the, the thing that's unique that I bring to the table that no one else does. And, um, but it's not just writing. It's any aspect of life. There is only one you. And you, are, you, you will reflect that no matter what you're doing, where you're going, what you're saying. You will reflect you will reflect that but the way people perceive you is are you confident about that are you fully comfortable in your skin in your own skin and in, in, in your own mannerisms the way you walk and talk or are you timid are you fumbling around are you afraid are you trying to be like someone else now I'm not saying it, it it's perfectly fine to have role models but Having something to aspire to is a good thing. Comparing yourself to other people is a bad thing. And, and kind of seeing where you fall short, that's not good. Um, because, like I said before, you know, a good example would be Tom Cruise and The Rock, right? Both have their own specific skill sets that they have strengths and weaknesses. And... For example, I'm sure Tom Cruise, who's a great actor and um, and has a long, very, um, you know, very well-developed career, I'm sure he wishes that he was 6'4", like The Rock, because then he would be even more charismatic on screen and, and in person, whereas, you know, he can kind of get lost in the crowd. The Rock, on the other hand, has this physical advantage. However, he doesn't have this long, illustrious career that he can, you know, kind of look back on um, when it comes to movies. And his acting, I'm not saying his acting is bad. He's, he's great fun, very engaging to watch, super charismatic guy. But there's a difference there, right? And, um, and could you imagine if The Rock compared himself with Tom Cruise and felt um, insecure or not confident I mean that doesn't make any sense The Rock is still a badass he's still awesome same thing with Tom Cruise could you imagine him comparing himself to The Rock why would he there's no point what they bring to the table 
are completely different things. It's comparing apples to oranges. And anytime you compare yourself to someone else, that's exactly what you're doing. You are on your own road, your own path. This is your life. And you're the only one that has to live it. The only one you should be comparing yourself to is yourself. Every day are you challenging yourself to, to broaden your horizons and to reach your true potential. If that's the case, then there's nothing else that matters. Anyways, I hope this has been helpful. Sorry I went a little long. Um, but, uh, you know, think about today. Like, wh what, are, what are the things that maybe you get down on yourself about? And, and instead of comparing yourself with other people, what can you do to challenge yourself and get reference points so that you can build confidence in that area, in those areas? And then also think about what are some strengths that you have that only you have, the, the value that you bring to the table when you're either in a conversation or a relationship or whatever it is, and focus on those when you're out and about. That way people can, can see your energy and your, you know, that, that, that innate power within you flowing instead of being stifled. Um, anyways, uh, I hope this was helpful and you guys take it easy.